Thousands of families in the Willamette Valley say they have fallen victim to a contractor whose license has been suspended. They tell us they're out thousands of dollars. KEZI 9 News reporter Noah Chavez spoke with one of those many people who say they have lost thousands with no clear way to get their money back. Trevor had a good Christmas. We had kind of a rough Christmas and, and uh, I'd like to see Trevor have not such a nice Christmas next year. A lot of people across the Willamette Valley are still holding in anger towards the owner of the Junction City based Lammers General Contracting. They say they have stories of money being deposited, but no product being delivered. $53,000 uh, cash from Trevor Lammers. And now I have over $150,000 worth of material here. Richard Wardman is one of the dozens of individuals who put their frustrations out on social media over what he calls a scam. He was licensed, but before he started the job, he was suspended. I was able to connect with others who have been affected with the unlicensed contractor, saying many didn't know his current standing before they put the money down. You know, if you look up this contractor uh, on our CCB website, they have a suspended license right now. And if you were to click into that license, you would see things like unpaid debt, um, an enforcement history, and a complaint history. We are very fortunate uh, in our lives that we can we can take this kind of a hit and still be standing. Richard says the chances of getting his money back are highly unlikely and is warning others that this similar situation can happen to you as well. I hope that uh, Trevor is discovered for the fraud he is and, and held accountable and that's a the, the best I can hope for because I'll never get my money out of him. So a contractor that is working without a CCB license is working illegally. Um, more to the point for the consumer is you don't have access to the consumer protections that come along with the CCB license if you hire an unlicensed contractor. Richard and others say they are starting to connect to get the justice they feel they deserve. And any other party that sees this interview are welcome to contact me and talk about their their situation. Reporting in Crestwell, Noah Chavez, KZI 9 News. And just to be clear, KZI 9 News did reach out to Lammers General Contracting, but we have not yet heard back.